Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. Our Facebook ad series is going on. If you want to watch the whole series, you can come to our channel and watch those videos from here. Okay, so in today's lecture, we'll show you how to create link click or website traffic campaign in Facebook ads. So if you want to get more visitors for your website, then you can consider running website traffic campaign. Okay. So it would be a step-by-step -step guideline and without any further delay, let's get started. Okay. So we'll be advertising for this landing page. So you can see over here, this is a still detailing landing page. Okay. So I have researched all the necessary ad targetings and ad copies for this uh, landing page. Okay. So that I can put them in my ads and create the ads easily. Perfect. So you can see over here, we'll be creating basically three ad sets. And in each ad set, I'm going to be giving the same budget. Okay. And I will advertise this ad set for next 30 days. And inside these 30 days, we'll definitely get a winning ad set. And on the basis of performance, I will scale the budget of ad set. And I'm going to pause the low performing ad set. So this is my main goal because I want to do a b testing with this ad sets okay so if i try to show you uh why i am creating three ad sets because i am using uh different targeting in his ad set actually if you see this is ad set one and the gender targeting is all location is usa and canada daily budget i will be giving 20 dollar is range 28 to 60 and audience targeting would be meta metal fabrication steel metal and minerals steel building steel frame okay and if you see uh this would be our primary text so what i have written in the primary text get one stop solution that serves all detailing requirements at mastro steel detailing we offer reliable economical and quality steel detailing services by strictly adhering to international engineering standard then I'm mentioning some of the USPs of our services. You can see over here, provide detailed workflow, deliver accurate results and single point of contact. And I'm mentioning our services in the ad copies. So what you can do, you can also mention uh, your services in the ad copies, USPs in the ad copies, what you are doing, you know. You can see over here, we are providing services like steel detailing, BIM connection, engineering, pre-engineering, just and deck detailing, pre-sale and stamping, okay? And at the end, we're using let's talk, sort our sort out your queries. Our experts are available 24 by seven. Then I'm giving a phone number, okay? Dial this number, visit us at our website. So this is the primary text or ad copies I'm gonna be using for ad set one, ad set two and ad set three. So if I go to the asset two, then I'll change only one variant at a time. Okay. So the variant over here is his range. Okay. So if I go to the asset one, then you can see we are targeting his range from 28 to 60. But if you come to the asset two, then you can see the as range is 33 to 55 so this is the only changes i'm making at at set two okay and i will keep all the uh, variants same as at set one okay and if i go to the at set one targeting then you can see over here as a location targeting i'm targeting usa and canada but if i scroll down a little bit and go to the at set three then you can see at at set three location so this would be our at set three at at set three location, we are using location as USA. So this is the only variant I'm changing at at set two and all the things will be remaining as at set one and two, okay? Perfect. So let's implement them in my ads. So before running ads, make sure you have set up a uh, pixel properly so that whenever a user come to your website, you can track them, okay? And uh, you can retarget them in your future campaign, okay? Perfect. So I have already set up a pixel for this website. So make sure you have set up pixel properly too, okay? 
So I'll click on create. Then I'm going to be choosing traffic as campaign objective. And if I hover over it, then you can see over here traffic is basically send people to destination like your website app instagram profile or facebook event okay so i'm gonna select traffic from here and you can see over here traffic is good for link clicks landing page views messenger instagram and whatsapp and calls okay so for the time being i'm gonna be choosing link clicks okay so i'll click on continue then i will name the campaign as maestro still detailing traffic or link click campaign then i will not be choosing any special ad categories i'll not be choosing any a b testing from here because i have to do it manually then if you want you can choose advantage campaign budget but for the time being i'll not be choosing it okay so i'll click on next then we're in the ad set level i will name the ad set as ad set one then i'll give a pipe then if i go to the ad set one then location would be us and canada so i can copy it from here and paste it over here and as the daily budget, I will give the daily budget as $20 for ESAT set. So I will give $20. Then I am going to use pipe again. Then as the age range, I am going to be using 28 to 60. And gender targeting would be most probably all, right? Yeah. So I will write men and women as gender so i basically use this uh, template for naming ad set so if you want you can customize this as for your requirements so from the conversion location i'm going to be choosing website okay perfect then you can see over here what is our performance goal so i'm going to be choosing maximize number of link clicks okay so i'm going to be choosing this one maximize number of link clicks and if you want you can give the cost per result goal this is optional i will not be giving it okay perfect and we are in the daily budget section so i'll give the daily budget as 20 dollar and as i already told you i am going to advertise these ad sets for next 30 days so today is october 16 so i'll give the end date as november 16 so i am going to be choosing november 16 from here and as the location I'm going to be entering the location as USA and Canada for ad set one. So I'll search for United States. So this one, United States, and I'm going to be choosing this as country or region. And I'm going to search for Canada. I'll give. Canada. If I go to the website, then you can see over here this country is serving their business to USA, Canada, and India. So for the time being, I'm going to be uh, targeting only USA and Canada. Okay, perfect. Then if you want, you can uh, use this Advantage Plus audience. So you can see over here. Our ad technology automatically finds your audience if you share an audience suggestion. We'll prioritize audiences matching this profile before searching more widely. Okay, so what you need to do, you need to give some audience suggestions and uh, they will show your ads on the basis of the AI and machine learning. Okay, so if you want, you can try it. No worries. But for the time being, I'll be choosing this one switch to original audience options so i'm going to click on use original audiences okay perfect then i'll not be choosing any custom audiences because i'm not running any remarketing campaigns so you can see over here location is usa canada and i'll modify the age range so if i go to that set one then you can see over here age range is Eight twenty-eight to sixty. So I'm gonna update the age range and make it 
28 to 60. Okay, perfect. And as the gender targeting, I'll keep it as all genders and I'll click on detail targeting and we are going to be targeting these four. Okay, so metal fabrication, I'm going to copy it from here and paste it over here. This one, metal fabrication, manufacturing. Okay, so I'm going to click on it. Then we're adding it as an interest. That means people who have interest on metal fabrication, they might see our ads. Okay, perfect. Then I'm going to copy a steel from here. And search for steel. So I'm going to be choosing steel, metals, and minerals. Then I'm going to be copying steel building. And I'm going to search for steel building. So steel building as construction. And the last one is steel frame. Okay. I'm going to copy it from here and paste it over here. Steel frame as also construction. So we are going to be targeting these four audiences. Then you can see the estimated audience size, okay, estimated daily result, estimated daily link clicks. So we might get 79 to 228 link clicks on a daily basis, okay, perfect. Then we'll go to the placement section and I'm going to edit, edit the placement and click on manual placement and I'll keep Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger. So I'm gonna deselect audience network. Okay, perfect. And you can see that placement where our ads will be shown. So this is our news feed, stories and reels, in stream video ads, search result. Okay, perfect. So if you want uh, to deselect any of them, then you can do it from here. For example, I'll not be showing my ads to in stream ads for videos and reels for example so i can deselect from uh, I, I can deselect it from here okay perfect then i'm going to be clicking on next and i will name the ad as traffic ad okay i can name it as traffic ad mastro Okay. still detailing perfect then you need to choose a facebook page from here okay so for the time being i'm going to be choosing this facebook page okay then i'll keep creative source as manual upload and format as single image or video okay then i'll click on add media and i'm going to click on add images Just wait a little bit. So I'm going to be choosing this image. And click on next. I'm going to click on next again. I'll enable this all optimization options and I'm going to click on done. I'll click on done again. So the image has been selected. Then in the primary text, I'm going to use the primary text as this one. So I have already created the primary text. Okay, so what I need to do, I need to use this in this section. Okay, so if you want, you can enter multiple primary text for testing which one is performing well. Okay, so for the time being, I'll be choosing this primary text. That means only one. Okay, and as the headline section, I'm going to be 
entering the headline as Mastro still detailing then I'll enter another headline based still detailing services okay so for the time being i'll be using these two headlines okay and if you want you can give the description as well but i'll not be giving any description and as the call to action you can keep it as learn more or you can give contact us okay so i'm gonna give contact us as our call to action you can customize this as per your requirements okay perfect then from the destination section we need to provide your website url so i'm going to copy this landing page url from here and paste it over here and i'm going to use a url parameter okay so in the google analytics i can see the data that uh, what is my campaign source what is my campaign medium and how are the campaigns performing well you know so i have a detailed video on it how to create a url parameter or utm tracking code so if you haven't watched the video yet i would suggest you to watch the video first and create a campaign url builder or url parameter so i'm gonna click on it and if the campaign source you can do it uh, dynamically or if you want you can uh, input this uh, fields manually okay so for the time being i'm gonna give the uh, campaign source as facebook for example so i'll be choosing manual option if you want you can choose it uh, choose them as dynamically okay so i'll give it as facebook campaign source as facebook campaign medium as social okay and campaign name as maestro still detailing link click okay campaign content as single image ads okay perfect and if you want you can uh, add some parameters as per your requirements so you can see the url preview so this is our landing page url then you can see over here utm source as facebook utm medium as social utm campaign as master still detailing link click utm content as single image ad. so you will get uh, to see this uh, data in your google analytics or any other analytics okay so what do you need to do you need to connect your analytics with this website so i have already connected my website with google analytics 4 so if a user comes uh, to your website using facebook ads and uh, perform the desired action then you will see uh, those reports in your google analytics 4 this is called data driven advertising okay so i'm gonna click on apply If you want, you can preview the URL, okay? And as the display link, I'm gonna give my landing page URL. I'm gonna paste it over here and make sure you have set up Facebook Pixel and you check this option, website events. So this one is my Pixel, okay? Perfect. So everything is okay for this ad set so i have created one ad set and you know this ad set i have created one ads okay so as i already told you i'll be creating three ad sets in one campaign so currently we have created one and we need to create another two okay so what i can do i can copy the existing ad set and then modify the ad set name and all the targetings as per my requirement so for duplicating i'm gonna click on this three dot okay and i'm gonna click on quickly duplicate so it is duplicating an ad set it might take some time please have some patience 
so one ad set has been duplicated so i'm going to click on this three dot again for duplicating i'm going to click on quickly duplicate and you can see it is duplicating another ad set okay perfect so this is our main ad set this is the copied one and this is also the copied one okay so i'll go to this ad set and rename the ad set as ad set 2 and targeting would be usa and canada 20 dollar and the gender targeting at ad set 2 would be most probably 33 to 55 so i'm gonna copy it from here and paste it over here and i'll remove copy from here so this is the only changes i'm making at ad set 2 okay so i'll keep conversion location as website performance goals as maximize number of link clicks then daily budget as $20 start date as October 16 end date as November 16 I'll keep the audience targeting same as at set 1 so the location would be US and Canada and the age range I would change the age range from 33 to 55 so if you go to the ad set 2, then you can see this is the age range we are targeting at ad set 2, 33 to 55. So this is the only variant I am changing at ad set 2 and other variants will be remaining same. Okay, gender is all gender and these are our targetings. Okay. I'll keep it as manual placement and Facebook, Instagram, Messenger. Okay, perfect. Then we'll go to the ad set. So I'll not be, uh, sorry, I'll go to the ad section and I'll not be changing any thing over here. Okay. So you can see we'll be using the same image and same primary text, same headline for this ads as well. Okay, so let's go to the ad set tree. So this is basically the ad set tree and I will rename the ad set as ad set tree and targeting would be only USA most probably for ad set tree. You can see over here location would be only USA. Okay, so I'll remove Canada from here. And daily budget $20. Age range 28 to 60, men and women. I'll remove copy from here. So this is the only variant I'm changing at ad set three. Okay. So I'm gonna choosing, I'm gonna choose conversion action as website, performance goals as maximize number of link clicks, daily budget as $20, start date October 16, end date November 16. I'm gonna click on reset your start date today location as usa so i'm going to remove canada because this is the only variant i'm changing at ad set 3 okay so you can see over here currently we're only targeting united states and as range would be 28 to 60 gender would be all gender detail targeting would be metal fabrication steel steel building steel frame and placement i'll uh, be choosing manual placement and I'm going to choose Facebook, Instagram and Messenger from here. And I'll keep the ad same as ad set 1 and ad set 2. That means I'll be using the same ad images, ad creatives, okay? Primary text and headlines will be remaining same, okay? So I have created one campaign and in this campaign, I have created three ad sets and I have created one ad in each ad set. Okay. So everything is done. Everything is completed. Okay. So uh, what you can do, you can create the necessary campaign. Then if you want, you can create multiple ad sets and in multiple ad set, you can create multiple ads. Okay. So if everything is okay, then you can click on this publish button okay so i'll not be 
clicking on this publish button because my payment method is not verified because I am showing you for the demonstration purpose. Okay, so hopefully you have understood. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully you have a clear understanding on how we can set up uh, a Facebook campaign for our website traffic or link click. Okay, so if you want to get more visitors by running Facebook ads to your website, then you can definitely consider running Facebook a traffic campaign. Okay, so hopefully you have liked our video. If you like our video, then you can subscribe our channel, follow our page. You have a good day.